It will come off. It has to. It cannot do this forever. But, yeah, there it goes. All right. Last job on this trip. What are we doing here, Kevin? All right. Well, we got a, a big leaning cottonwood out over the, the lakes. Wow, and that really... <laughs> That really is leaning. Yeah, it's an Whoa. understory cottonwood of this pretty massive one here. Uh, it's, that's a hundred yeah. feet tall. And uh, we're taking two lower branches off of this one. Off of this one? Off of this one. Those, those two about 12 inch diameter oh, okay. low hangers. Probably so they have a nice vista from the, the windows of the house here. I came out early and set a a tie-in point um, and we'll have on this line we're gonna pull up our retrievable um, x-rings so we've got a double x-ring splice on the end of a hundred foot uh, 12 strand hollow braid that we pull up and we can pull a rigging line up we're not gonna rig much so we'll have Jacob run up this tree he can tiptoe up you know, we don't spike trees, we're pruning, but you know, you can see the bark on this is like four inches thick. So he can just sort of scoot up there and drop cut those two and then swing over to this tree. And then we can make some big drop cuts. That lower limb will be out of the way. So, so really, we're dropping it on the lake. We're dropping it on the lake. We probably have, Crazy. you know, 12, 16 inches of ice out here. And we, when we get down to the bigger wood, I don't want to drop cut that huge log to the ice. We might fracture the ice. It looks like there could be a little, a little spring here or something. The ice is a little different color than, than out there. So we don't want to really, I mean, if we were to drop this on the ice, we'd, we'd fracture it. I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that it would. And then we'll have this rigging point that we can just string that and take, I mean, we're on a beefy limb there. So we'll be able to take we could take that 12 foot log there if we really wanted to. Jake and I have to uh, run to the Amish stores. <laughs> yeah, I want to see an Amish. He wants to see some Amish stuff. So we we got right. we got to cut and run today. Yeah, I got to catch a flight. I'm <laughs> flying out this afternoon, so we got to make this quick. So we're not going to be here for the whole cleanup. We got to get up there. We got to we got to cut and run. You know, I climbers don't usually like to avoid cleanup, but you know, <laughs> we're going to do it today. I'm really bummed that I'm not going to be able to clean the twigs off the ice. Yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> already. Oh, would, nice. You brought one today. Oh, that would have been nice yesterday. Six pounds. Is that a, yeah, that's heavy. That's a really nice witch banger. Yeah, it's yeah. not a vintage head. It's a, it's a new head that he did. Man, I really like that guy. Yeah, he seems like a good... Good guy. What did I do with my gloves? Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, my helmet is heavier with two. <laughs> Man, you look like a cyborg. I have trouble bumping in with stuff with one. You're like half machine now. <laughs> if you can carry that rope bag. Yeah, for sure. All right. So this is our, uh, 12 strand hollow braid and we stuff it with the rings in the bag first so that uh, I tie a clove hitch and just let the weight hang and that stays on and so the rings are down the bottom we pull the the easy end through the crotch and then we put a, a rigging line into the rings then pull the rings all the way up to the crotch with the rigging rope installed and then you can just retrieve it at the end what time did you show up here to set these lines? I got here at 6.30. Oh, uh, man, I'm sure glad you did that. What time do you usually wake up in the morning? Five o'clock. On the weekends too? Just an early riser? Yeah, <laughs> I, I usually wake up before my alarm. I set my alarm for five and wake up at 4.30. And... So funny how people are just different like that. This is definitely a first for me. I've never dropped anything on ice before. Ice, yeah. I was hoping to get this one in because it'd be, even just experientially, it'd be fun.
I always put the the throw line in that one. They're also green and red, but sometimes they get packed backwards. You never want to throw the bottom one out of there, or <laughs> you got a real rat's nest. All right, now we pull this. There's my rings. You get your rigging line. That's cool. So it's just like a yeah, portable, uh, retrievable. So it's just like a mega long sling. Mega long sling. Yeah. Yeah, I had that uh, that made up special. Well, you'll be able to order them on uh, GameOfTrees.com. We'll have this as a feature, and it'll just be the basically the cost of a sling plus the footage of the rope. And then you want to pull through enough rope, you know, to be on the ground when you get it up there. And it's nice because there's a. The hollow braid has like no stretch to it, you know? Right, and it's also, you know, abrasion resistant. Yeah, that's so clever. You got like all, all this rigging set up and you did it all from the ground. Yeah, we haven't left the ground yet. I'm gonna throw this flip line around. Am I... Can you go up this one first? I, I was gonna or, or swing gonna over. Jump over. Yeah. P perfect. Hey, don't let me tell you how to do things. <laughs> <laughs> I never micromanage. <laughs> I've just got this really nice tie-in point. I think I could just swing right over there. Oops. Now we'll just go. This is luxury, man, to show up in my lines. Yeah, I know it. I gassed your saw, everything. Oh, my saw, I need my saw. Servant leadership, that's what we call it around here. Can you hand me my saw too? What's that? I forgot my saw, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Gas and bar oil. And you didn't even spill that much bar oil. There you go. I aim to please. This bark is no joke, man. It's like rock solid. That's how they grow where I live, too. Uh, let's see if I can get over there. Oh, man. Yeah, that one, man. I thought that'd be an easier swing. You want me to throw you over there? Yeah, maybe I'd get a little assistance. Oh, you want to go over here? Yeah, I thought I'd just be able to hop over. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I'll get you. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, that bark is no joke. This is rock climbing 101. It's got like big finger grips on this bark. Crazy. So we got a cottonwood here for all the purists. He's tiptoeing on the outer cork. This stuff is like super thick. I'm nowhere near. Nowhere near, <laughs> the wood nowhere near cambium. Wood carvers like this stuff. Really? They carve stuff out of the bark. These trees get so big, man, they just suck up water on the shore, you know? Oh yeah, this, this thing's got perfect environment. This thing's got a huge pocket of rod in it. I guess maybe it's not huge for here, actually. Everything seems to have, <laughs> everything's hollow out here. Yeah, so yesterday in that felling, we used two of these retrievable redirects. Tie a cow hitch with the tail. Nice flip. It's a ways over there, but... Well, I wanted to get you on a tree that made you feel like you're out west again. <laughs> Well, this isn't the tree. <laughs> we better go find a, a fir or something. <laughs> I mean, I do have cottonwoods, but not not oh, not over frozen lakes. Yeah. yeah. So you're thinking just like do an open face notch, and we're hoping the butt gets close to the shore. Yeah, probably kind of a a narrow notch, maybe a notch that's only two two to three inches wide, and it'll just get a little tip, and then it's gonna spring this way. All right. <laughs> Stay 
on it right through the cut. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, you gotta stay on the cut and then it'll just fall. We got enough height where it flipped over, but no big deal. It's a small enough branch, we'll pull it right off of there, so. I turned off my socks. I wanted to hear the creak, you know? Like that, but it didn't work. Yeah, sorry, I stole that from you. You can see how the ice just yeah. looks thinner here. So I don't know if we've got a spring or something here. So we get the, the, the southern sun looks right at this and is melting this snow and it runs down here and it, you get a surface ice here that looks different in color. Overflow. All right, well, here's another big one. consistent Jake hey, this 20 inch bar is kind of handy for that cut yeah the sales guy called this a 10 inch diameter branch <laughs> when you're looking at a branch in that kind of a tree and you're looking up it's easy to oh that's a 10 incher and you get up there and it's what diameter was that I don't really know but I had a lot of bar in it so it's yeah it's probably like 13 inches or so. Yeah, so anyways, it's it's bigger than 10 inches. Well, you might have to come all the way down and go back up. I know, I was kind of thinking that. Because it, it's you're farther out of line than it looks, you know? I'm not going to be able to swing over there. That's on the ground. Right. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Is that your move? No, it's my secondary helmet. Mine's in my truck. You you buy a four hundred dollar secondary helmet? If anybody that helps me is just as important as I am. There you go. I like that attitude. Did you hear that, Jacob? What? No. Uh, he he's got a a Protoss helmet on. He says it's not even my helmet. My helmet's in the truck. I said, you buy a $400 helmet as a secondary helmet? He goes, yeah, because when I have somebody helping me, their heads is most important, it's mine. <laughs> oh man, that's a good answer. Like, yeah, that's a good answer. Dude, this wood is huge. Uh, probably Hey, while you're there, if you wanna if you wanna drop cut that bad boy right away, that'll that'll save backtracking. Yeah. Can you handle that with your uh, limb reaper, dude? This this saw was built for this branch. That's awesome. It's like it's like exact. Yeah, it's gonna work. All right. <laughs> Like four feet. Yeah, the fish the fish heard that one. Yeah, now you can uh notch and drop that next one. It's hanging on a little branch up there. Maybe we can get it to fall out of there without uh giving us a broken hanger. Fortunately, cottonwood doesn't break and hang, it breaks and falls, so we should be fine. It's so weird, it's the same species. 
But I look up at the canopy and it's like totally alien, you know, they just Ours always droop up, you know. You want me to toss a throw line up there and pull that branch down to you that's gonna snag your rope? What this one right here? Yeah, can you reach that? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach it in a minute. Oh, okay. Just trying to be helpful. It's plenty helpful just just being yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was that admonishment or was that uh, I don't know a compliment? <laughs> Just saying, don't worry about it. You're doing a great job. We're 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 teaching we're teaching Jacob some sarcasm around here. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that very <laughs> Yeah, there's no sarcasm out west. guys aren't blocking us in are you because we're cutting and we're running you, you think what do i do about this is, is it gonna hang up you think um look at that huge leader up there i would say uh if you notch that to fall which one are you looking at this leader has a big branch yeah i think if you notch it towards your right like that way it'll 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 move that far enough to slip out of there i think so probably just maybe even cut it here should i cut it here yeah probably yeah probably right there kind of scared or or at your feet if you want to okay your feet would give it more movement yeah you're right a 20 inch bar is awesome <laughs> dude sometimes it's really too much and sometimes it's just enough yeah you got that light saw and you're able to take these big branches i'd be up there with a 572 yeah <laughs> This is great. All right, I'm going to cut this branch if that's cool with you guys. I'm going to move my flip line so I don't hit that with the butt. It's coming. I'm gonna go throw a line in it and tug it out of there. Yeah, maybe, uh, you think we should do that? Put a line in it? You gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's, it's like, I I'm out of wood. <laughs> so see, I'm out of wood with this one. If I cut any more, this thing is just going to pinch down, spin off, slash down. The butt's going to spear the ice. The tip might come back at me, so he's going to shoot a line and try to yard it out. And I'm going to go up there, so I'm less likely to get nailed with something. Oh, too low. Well, a little foresight would have put this line in there ahead of time, huh? I didn't think it was even rubbing. Yeah, I thought it would pull out of there. I did too. Oh, wow. Close. Yeah, I can see it hanging up right there. Does it look like it's something I can pull off? Oh, yeah, man. It's barely hanging on. Oh. I think you're over the one it's hung up on. Yeah, you're over, you're over the one it's resting in. I'll pull that up and off. Am I clear now? Yeah, you're not on it. Am I still on it? No, you're not on the, the branch that's that I cut. Oh, I'm on a, oh, I'm not. Oh. Yeah, maybe, or, well, no, you're, you're, uh, you're on the one it's hung up in. I am still? Yeah, you're like on the twigs of the one it was hung up on. Oh, I see. Well, twigs aren't gonna be an issue. There, now you're, yeah. 
I gotta get a swing. So I don't go under there and grab that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, you know, I could do a get your get your ice skates out. You'll be <laughs> just zing in there. You can see it's like barely, barely resting up there, just right like that. <laughs> get it and get out. <laughs> <laughs> what are the ANSI guidelines about walking under a piece that's cut? <laughs> How long can you be into there? I don't know. Oh yeah, I can feel that cracking. <laughs> I don't think I was in danger. Dude, I feel everything moving. Oh man. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, man. Yeah, we might have to go. Dude, it's moving so much. Are you able to get yourself up on that other lead and cut it free? Oh, man, I'm scared to go on that. <laughs> yeah, that's serious. So much weight at the tip. Okay, well then our option. Dude, you know, you, you know what I might like to do? Is cut the butt free and let her fly out of there. Oh, man, that's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> What's your idea? Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's insanity. Oh, man. Oh, it's hooked on a stinking little one. This is a tiny, dude, it's hooked on a tiny branch. That's crazy. My, it's moving so much. Uh, wow. You just keep jiggling it. That's insane. So all you can do is jiggle it. I guess just maybe do what you're doing. I mean, my, my plan was I was thinking about just going down and then really we could yard on it and then I'd be. Why don't you bail and get out of there? Because if, if somehow that upper lead breaks, you know? Yeah, it's like right in my face. Yeah, but it's kind of what I was thinking about maybe just leaving. Yeah, why don't you get out of there? Um, Almost like another rope. Yeah, you want me to send your rope up and you can descend on your rope? So you don't have to like tiptoe down. You can just repel. Well, then I got to descend right under this thing. It's just like barely hanging in there. It's tough. I'm tempted to tell you to just yard on it. But the thing is, if this whole leader breaks. Well, you're, you're kind of a, you're kind of off to the side from this angle. Like you're above the danger. Yeah. If that lead breaks, that's not coming at you. Maybe I'm just scared because my tree is shaking so much and it's just messing with my, uh, if I really think about it empirically. Hey, you know what, Jake? What could really happen? Yeah. If you go up just a little higher. Yeah. And I'm trying to think what's caught on what and notch that piece off that above you. And then you're, uh, you're not tied. Your, your tree's not tied to that branch at all then. Maybe I'll just keep piecing this one out. Yeah, piece that out above that branch. Okay, that's a good idea. And then and then you're free and clear of anything. Yeah, okay. It's a tough balancing act, right? Because I, I get nervous and it's like I have to sort of negotiate with myself. Like, okay, I don't want to ignore when I'm nervous but I also want to think about it logically. Like, is there a good reason that I'm nervous, you know? And you know, fear, fear is something that can cause a person to do something, you know? So like anytime I, I'm in a tree and when nervousness turns into fear, yeah, it's like people can do really dangerous stuff. Exactly, because they think, oh, I just got to do it this way because I'm scared. And then, you know, there's a tragic story from years ago about that. Yeah, you definitely don't want to ignore that feeling, but you also don't want to not have that feeling. <laughs> exactly, it's a... Emotional balancing act, I like that term that you use.
I almost wonder if I cut this lower limb if he'd probably be happy about it. It's it's really low. Just just do it because that's our arbitrary decision right now. Okay. And all we have to say is it was the safest thing we could do. <laughs> Now that's a simple notch and drop, right? So crazy. All right. Dude, it, it's gonna go. Like, it can't do that forever. It's probably hurting your hands pulling that, but. No, I got the ball on here. Little technique of wrapping the string around the ball. It can't dance there forever. It has to come out. Yeah, it's creaking. Like, it's. It will fall through. It's just <laughs> a matter of time. That butt is twisting off, isn't it? Yeah, the butt's every turn breaks another fiber and there aren't many left. We'll get it. <sighs> yeah, I really don't want to get under because I don't want to be under because I don't want to be under this arm it's hung up on because it's flexing. Yeah, if that arm breaks. It will come off. It has to. It cannot do this forever. I can hear it. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, could you could you blow on that and make that one come out? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to shoot me out there? <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want the hanger to come down and hit a fish. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that's over with. Hey, well there's some drama. Dude, I did not like that. But it's like, what are you going to do? You, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's something that you made a choice to do something and then it's like... You're committed. Oh, dang. Didn't see that. Well, we talked about it too. Yeah, we did. All right, Kevin, we got 10 minutes. You're like, I'd be surprised if we aren't out by nine. <laughs> Is it 10 to nine? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to cut a piece. A bridge. <laughs> Are you, are you making a statement there? <laughs> the optimism of the business owner. Yeah, I've worked with the, many tree owners, tree business owners, and it's the one thing that you all have in common. You're all very optimistic about how much daylight there is. <laughs> <laughs> You're all like, oh yeah, that'll be fast. <laughs> we got one, we can do one more job. It's crazy though, setting those lines saved a lot of time though. So I'm like crazy out here. Could I please cut some wood under the ice? Absolutely, absolutely. We got plenty of ice. Thank you. I would say better to do like eight foot sticks and get them. I can do eight foot sticks. Get them to land flat like you're really good at doing. Oh man, now that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll work, man. It always works. I'm so happy the tops are out of this. This is. Our ice is really thick here, so just go for it. We'll pull it off the ice. So much more respect for you guys.
just drop the trunk on top of these branches. Just put it in pieces you can drag off the ice with a rope. Because we got to cut and run. Yeah, thanks. But it, it's, I'm super confident with the ice now. It's like, oh yeah, it's right here, it's probably 14 inches. Yeah. right now because it hinges just like fur doesn't it I'll go check the uh, collateral damage on the ice probably very little I dropped it on that leader you know yeah all we got is little chips out of the ice that's so crazy you're like let me go let me go inspect the ice and you're walking over there to <laughs> check it out <laughs> That's so crazy. So I'd say, yeah, cut it there and then we'll, we'll drop this whole piece down here. I like that 572. That was on the log. Right on the log. Bro. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, it was log? right on the log, yeah. folks. What do you mean? He's like, I'm just going to hit that one log that spans about 20 feet across the ice. It, it, it hit both logs and pushed them out, maybe. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. You want you put the crop on the log, dude. I, I mean, it, it cradled that log. Yeah. Yeah, on purpose, maybe. The ice is unfazed. Look at that, man. That's such a big cut. Can you get a picture of me on this thing? <sighs> yeah, buddy. Awesome shot, Jacob. Thanks, man. So now we're gonna fell it from the ground. Yeah, and we can lay that right on these. 
so much. Yep. You wanna you wanna rope in it? <laughs> you want a pole line? <laughs> you want the 3120 or the 395? Just just the two options? <laughs> <laughs> Will you quit spinning? <laughs> I'm sorry. I identify as somebody who's stationary. That was so fun towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> it got really fun once that hanger was out. Can you put that back yeah, in? Yeah. <laughs> that there. The axe. Gotta get the axe. Schroeder made that. Look what that laser did. Look at that fine print. That's a six pounder. Thanks. Careful when you swing that, it's a six pounder. <laughs> <I know. laughs> did, did you want to cut it, Kevin? Did you want me to film you cutting it? No, you can cut it. Man, you're only here now. <laughs> you can cut it. I just don't want to do all the fun, you know, take all the fun, you know? the concrete <laughs> it didn't even hit the concrete this one's hollow too all the trees are hollow here look at that thing all right boys I wish I could stay to help clean up I gotta catch a plane oh, you can reschedule it's all right <laughs> I gotta be in Hawaii you know I uh man that was so cool it's crazy how it how oh thanks how strong it can stand all that weight leaning so far. It's rotten, decay all through the stem. Yeah. And it's still standing. Standing. <laughs> but yeah, that was like an umbrella hang. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's just tons of leverage out there when that was up. Oh man. Well uh Okay, we, well boys. We, <laughs> we really do have to get going. It's been real, it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave my suburban. I'm gonna go with him initially here, so. You can throw whatever my equipment in there. Make sure we got all of his here. Yeah, the typical this, climber. This, year is, this yeah. year is my shock's face. <laughs> <laughs> typical climber. Well, hey, it was good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, good to meet you. 
Yeah, a nice job. Yeah. Good to meet you. Sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Take care. Awesome. Well, we never used the GRCS. <laughs> we, we prepped for it and then never oh, used yeah. it. Didn't need to. That ice is so crazy how strong that ice yeah. is. Yeah, it's incredible. Everything about that tree was unique for me. E even like I've done a million cottonwoods, but never, <laughs> never quite like that. Better clean out the work truck before taking it back to the airport. Yeah, Kevin was about to say something nice to me. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to get it on recording. No, I, yeah. you know, I really appreciate you coming out and getting to know you. And, you know, it, you know, everything we did out here, we kind of did with specific intent. You know, I, I know why I exist, and I, I want to, I want to bring abundance to people in any number of ways. And hopefully, we've brought you a little bit of abundance. And, and uh, you know, it's it's great that we were able to partake in this kind of early in your journey. Um, so it, it's just been been great. I know the guys enjoyed it a lot, and uh, we've enjoyed spending time with you. And I got to spend quite a bit of time yeah. <laughs> driving around in this here minivan. And yeah, we're it's almost like a college trip. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, it makes me, I kind of want a minivan though. We dirtied this thing <laughs> really well. I tried to hit it with the blower. Yeah, it really we didn't tried to work. blow it out. The sawdust just it, wouldn't come off the Velcro uh -huh, carpet. <laughs> But yeah, it's been great. We've had a we've we've had a blast. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure for me. Kevin, thanks for having me out. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. All right. Let's see.